bitch, I'm a layo. I get the money, no layo. I'm with the back of the mail. She give me brains when I'm in. Yeah, I'm with a threat. I put that bitch on my layo. I get the money on layo. I'm with a pack of the mail. She give me brains when I'm in. I put that bitch on my layo. I get the money on layo. What's up, you guys? Hey, everybody lit, can't pull that file. So, if you're new to my channel, what's up? My name is Naya Nache. You can call me Naya if you want to, if you don't want to say all that. If you're not new to my channel and you're back, what's up gangy okay, so i really just wanted to do a little quick bloggy vlog you know come with me because i'm bored and i want to talk to my besties period so let's get into it we on our way to motherfucking arby's and yeah if you don't know i'm the one keeping arby's in business we don't eat arby's okay but yeah we're gonna be on our way to arby's so let's go Yes, can I get a can I get two number ones? The classic what curly Curly fries or crinkle? Curly fries. What you drink? Uh you can do I'm sorry? You can do uh fruit punch with light ice for both. Fruit punch? Uh-huh. Alrighty. And you said both uh, two of them? Yes. Okay, anything else for you? Can I just get some Arby sauce and ketchup in the bag? Yeah, can you remind them about that at the window? Uh-huh. Alrighty. That's all. Can can you spare a dollar for no kid hungry? Mm-mm, get somebody else to do it. Oh. Tonight? Um, no. Alrighty. Please put around your little bag. Sixteen ninety four. Thank you. Y'all, I was finna do it, but she was a little too rude for me. So, I'm sorry, Hungry Kids, but she, she, she... I'm gonna do it next time, for real. Because I just was... Y'all seen, I was just reading the note. I'm gonna do it next time, for real, because I'm... I'm not like that, like, be for real. I'm gonna do it next time because nobody, everybody not rude like her. Like, she just, no, she just did it. <laughs> but she just seemed like she was trying to rush me. Like, are you trying to rush me? You finna take my money, I'm not taking your money. Why are you rushing me? But yeah, let's just secure the bag and I'm gonna get back to y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna go do a little monkey bang, and yeah, period. Yo, hey, hey, okay. Yo, I'm gonna cut. I put that bitch on my layo. I get the money on layo. I'm with the back of the mail. She give me brains when I'm in love. I put that bitch on my layo. I get the money on layo. She wanna fuck with the kids. She wanna fuck with the guys. I put a lean on my stride She wanna fuck, I said, alrighty I put the back, yeah, I hit it all night I love the rest and that pussy get wet She just got me, I'm finna lie She looking at me, man, I know that little bitch wanna fuck food She got them little hits when I hit from the back of that dumb truck You know I got my nine, all the time A nigga run up, he gon' die Anything else for you? No, that's all Any sauce? Um, hot sauce Everything you trying to crack for you? Yes. Okay, thank you. Y'all, I promise I'm not a fat ass hoe, y'all. It's literally like 3 o'clock and I'm just not eating for real. So. Yeah, that lazy ass white boy gonna try to gonna give me a fucking handful of hot sauce. Well, he could have simply looked in my box to see if I already had some. Because if I already have some, I don't want no more. 
That's facts. No printer. Um, I'm finna go home and do this head. So we're not finna keep looking like this any much longer. Finna go home, grub, um, do this hair, and get dressed. This girl better get out this way with these little heels on. Child. I don't know if y'all seen them, but I'm gonna get back with y'all whenever I get back with y'all, okay? Let's take this overboard now. I want you to feel that heat. And we can ride the book and share that beat of love. I wanna ride. Sonics, y'all already know the vibe. So I got the um, I got the pretzel again, but this time I got it with the cream cheese, and it is so much better than the cheese. Like, I don't even play. For my order right here, it's raspberry lemonade slush. You already know the vibes, and yeah, and then the pretzel. And let me just say, y'all, once again, I'm not a fat bitch. Like, y'all just keep catching me slacking while I'm eating, but it's literally like 8:30, almost 9 o'clock, and this is just a late night snack. You feel me? Like, I don't just be eating and eating and eating. Last time I seen me eat, it was like 3 o'clock. And that was like when I first started eating. But, yeah, I just want to say, I ain't no fat bitch. But I'm going to eat, though. Period. Hello, stranger. It's been a minute. Not the, oh. Not the shell. Take the shell out. Oh, my God. Oh, Curry, not you could drop it all of it in there. By the way, just got in town, and I won't let you in this cloud. all in the sky, ruin my vibe. Usually, I don't do this often, but since recruiting isn't an option, do you want you? Thunder, baby, I wonder, baby, I wonder, would you just put your sweats on, put your sweats on for me? Yeah. I got the plug, I made the call for me. Mm -hmm. I'm talking late night for ya, let me lay a great time on ya. Don't hesitate, no, don't you? Y'all, I do not feel good whatsoever that's why my hair isn't done it don't mind that i don't got a jacket on i'm already saying i don't feel good but i wasn't supposed to be out like i was not supposed to be here i'm at Walmart. and last night I, I fell asleep real early so i didn't even get to do my hair at all but it's halloween so happy halloween girls and boys i don't know who's watching but happy halloween i just want to get up here and update y'all because I'm over it, like, I'm so over it, for real. Okay, so I have finished, you know, doing my little journaling for the day. But I just wanted to get on here and talk about the verse of the day. The verse of the day today says, And it is impossible to please God without faith. Anyone who wants to come to him must believe that God exists and that he rewards those who sincerely seek him. So what I want to say on that is that I totally agree with that 100%, like, let me just say i don't even do this i like i don't talk you know express how i feel and all that, which is why i journal even if i'm close with you it's some things i just don't feel comfortable saying i don't know i'm just not good with my words i mean don't get me wrong i'm gonna say what i gotta say i'm gonna tell you how i feel to a certain extent but back to the word like i said i 100 percent agree with that a lot of people especially young people and now that I've, i peaked there a lot of young people we tend to just call on the Lord when we need him. Like, you know, say something traumatic that's just happened in your life. Everybody be so quick to, um, oh, I want to thank God. or I want to do this. I want to do that. But, you know, they call on the Lord when they, when they need the help. But nobody ever wants to talk to God, you know, on an everyday basis. Nobody wants to, you know, sit down, take at least like five minutes of their day, night, and just pray. And people never want to put things out how it really is. 
Like, sometimes you have to be realistic with yourself. That's just what it is. And that's what I did for myself. I realized that I was one of those teenagers that never really called on God unless I really needed him, unless something really, truly happened. And that's not how it should be. God did not give his life away for us to just use him when we need him. That's not, no. So, of course, it took a traumatic event in my life to happen for me to realize that I was doing that. When my granddaddy had passed, I, you know, I was, I don't want to say too much, but when he passed, I was kind of blaming myself, constantly blaming myself, bringing myself down, doing this and that. And me trying to be the strong person that I always want to be. I was like, when when everybody was asking me, oh, are you okay? I literally went back to work the next day. Literally, I literally went back to work the next day. Even though I was feeling how I was feeling about the situation, even though I felt sad, down, you know, all of that. I still went back to work and I still put on a face as if I was okay. Now I can truly say that I'm okay. Yes, some days I do have days where, you know, I would dwell on the situation. I would, you know, be sad some days and just thinking about it. But from this, like, from now, I am okay. I can now, I can literally tell anyone now I'm okay. Even though when it did happen, I was telling everybody, everybody asked me, oh, you okay? I'm so sorry. Da, da, da. I would always say, yes, I'm okay. Was I okay? No. But um, I'm sure people knew that because who's okay when their granddad is passing? The verse of the day really stood out to me because like, it's true. Young people never call on the Lord. I'm not even going to say young people. Let's scratch that. People in general. We never call on the Lord unless we actually need him. We never call him unless something really happens for us to want to call him. For us to think that we can depend on him and he's going to fix all of our problems. Which, yes, he can and yes, he will because we are his children. But it's just not fair to him that we're using him in that aspect. They were using him you know, to get what, to get what we want, to get our, to make our day better. You get what I'm saying? Like, we should be reaching out to him every single day. And if you know, if you're not, I don't know, I don't even know how to explain it because I'm not, I'm not the type that's going to vocalize how I feel. I'd rather just keep it to myself. I've been journaling. I've been doing it for like probably like over a month now. I just... I, I really think that that's a better solution for me because I'm not going to tell you how I feel. You ask me, I'm not going to tell you. Like, I'm literally not going to tell you. And that's with anybody. I just, I'm just not that type of person. And I'm, and I've been realizing that a lot of people are just like me. Like, not everyone wants to say how they feel. I just feel like, why tell you, what are you going to do for me? You know what I'm saying? Like, what are you going to fix? If I tell, if I pour my heart out to you right now, what are you going to do to fix all of that? I, I feel like it's literally nothing nobody can do that I can't do myself. Yeah, I feel like journaling is a good way to connect with God, connect within yourself, and all of that. I am running a little late, so I'm gonna get back to you guys once I actually get to work. I did change my outfit, as y'all can see, so I am gonna try to give you guys a fit check. I think my outfit is pretty cute, but I am kind of having a bad hair day because I was supposed to do my hair, so therefore I just let my hair do whatever yesterday, so it's a little nappy. Not too much, and not too bad, because this that good shit going up the roof to my head, period. But yeah, I'm gonna get back to y'all whenever I get there because I'm gonna play music, and we can't do no copyright. So, yeah. Okay, so I'm finna try to give y'all a fit check. Really, really, how I'm finna do this because my phone won't sit up nowhere. But, okay. So, shirt from Sheen, boots from Sheen. I only wore those once and it was on my birthday. So, I was like, let me just go ahead and pull these out real quick for the one time, for the one time. And this is a regular tank top, a regular black jeans. I don't know where they came from. Fit check, fit check. So hard to make your bitch. Uh, y'all already know the vibes. So let me hurry up so I can get on in this building. But make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe because this is, this is the end of my video. 
um thank you guys for watching i'm going to continue to put videos out and that's just on period so uh, make sure y'all subscribe 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 hit that notification bell because like i said the videos are coming the videos are freaking coming i know i'm talking fast baby i'm gonna be late so we have to hurry up so yeah make sure y'all like comment and subscribe and thank you for watching my freaking video